Okay boys and girls, welcome back. In this video we're going to discuss scraping a social network and we're all go also going to deal with the issue of lazy loading. Now for you guys that don't know what lazy loading is, I'm sure that you've come across it loads of times with your web searches. If you've used Twitter or the website that we're going to tackle today, TikTok and many many other sites, you'll notice uh, for example with Twitter if you look at someone's usernames and you start scrolling down the page you only can see a certain amount of the usernames and then as you scroll more and more become visible well this can be a problem when you're designing bots because in the source code and on the page only a certain amount of profiles are visible and they only become more only become visible as you scroll this is called lazy loading and in this video series we are going to deal with that this uh, video series is going to be three parts I think we're going to deal with the scraping of TikTok in the second part we're going to deal with the lazy loading and number three we're going to get into what we can do with the data that we have scraped okay guys before we get into the meat of the video I have to do my shameless plugs so if you haven't already done so check out the course the link is in the description. The price that you see is for lifetime, so all the new material that goes in on a weekly basis is yours for life. It's only a one-time fee. There is an option if you want support. So I can support you one-on-one um, -on, -one on Discord, Skype, and email, um, help you out with anything that you need um, to do with programming, be it Bass or any other kind of scripting language that you're getting into. Also, add us on Discord. Link is in the description. And if you need any custom bots or templates designed, then again, the link is in the description. And check out all the free resources on the botempire.com. The templates and the resources are all on there for your bot pleasure. Okay, now on with the meat of the video. So what I've got here, guys, is just a template. And what it does is it creates a blank list called usernames. It goes to the trending section of TikTok. We're going to make a loop. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that um, and then we're going to grab the usernames from the cards and then we're going to save each username uh, link URL to our list and we're also going to log out the information to our log on bass here so we can make sure that the bot is running as we want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come out of the script like so and I'm just going to run it. So all I've got for resources is a place to save the usernames, which is called TikTok usernames. So I'm going to hit OK. And let's take a look at the browser. I'm going to load the trending section of TikTok. There we go. And then, as you can see here, all the usernames are being logged out. They're also being saved to our list. The only issue we have with how the bot is at the moment is that it can only find so many. I think it's the first, here we go, we're gonna find out. Are we? Are we gonna find out? I think it's the first 50 anyway, guys. Because of lazy loading, the bot can only find the first 50. So let me show you lazy loading in effect. If we come here and we load the trending section of TikTok, like so, eventually, here we go we'll see that there's, you scroll down and we could scroll and see the first 50. If we come to the bottom of the page, you'll see, look, this icon and it loads more. So even more become visible. To start with, these are not visible. It's only when you scroll to the bottom of the page, like so, you'll see it's loading and more become visible. So we're gonna handle that because it's a big problem if you need to scrape, scrape hundreds of thousands of profiles, okay? So what I've done here, as I said before, is I've loaded the page and I've started this loop, okay? So let me just come out again. I'm gonna hit record and then let's just start over. And I'm gonna get rid of the loop and everything below. So let's go. So what I've done is I've come to, I'm not sure, no, I've come to a list in our toolbox and all I did is create a list and I called it usernames. You can change it to whatever you like and I've just left it blank and hit okay. And then I've just loaded uh, TikTok forward slash trending. You don't need the slash in English. By the way, guys, this template is in the description below so you can grab this and take a look and uh, mess around with it as much as you want. Okay, so once we've loaded the page, 
the trending page like so. What I'm gonna do now, guys, is the loop. And this is another method to scrape a data, okay? So what I can do is I can come to the first thing that I wanna scrape. So what I'm trying to achieve, guys, is I wanna scrape each one of these cards, so they're like profiles, okay? And each card that I come to, I wanna get the profile URL, okay? So I'm gonna click on one of the cards that I want, left click, and then what I wanna do is find the function that says start loop, okay? Now, what it's gonna ask you for now, it's gonna say, hey, so with this loop that we're making, I made that a little bit too small, with this loop that we're making, what do you want me to grab with each loop? Now you need to find the CSS or the match um, of what it is you wanna grab. So in this case, we wanna grab each one of these profiles. Now this ain't correct because look, the amount of A tags that it's found is 402, so that's no good. Now for you guys that have grabbed um, my course, sorry, no pun intended, grab, um, you'll uh, know exactly how to select items, what to select and, not, um, and what not to select, okay? But for this, I'm gonna come to match, and we know because this has got numbers in, this is gonna change all the time. So I'm gonna get rid of this, okay? But I'm gonna keep the video card MA because I'm sure that's a good match. There we go, we found 30 elements, and we can see that 30 of these have been highlighted, so that's perfect. So what I'm saying is start a loop, and for each uh, loop iteration, go to each one of these cards. So we're gonna hit okay, and you'll see that our loop is populated with a lot of stuff. So it automatically um, makes a log of the repetition number. So this would be zero, one, two. Okay, and then it gets the element content. So each it gets each one of these, and then it's gonna log out the um, information of each one of these. So what I do is I get rid of the two logs because this is not what I want it to log out. So we're left with this. So at the moment, we've started a loop and we're gonna get each one of these cards, okay? So what I wanna do for each one of these cards, I want to, so I'm gonna click on one of the cards again, any one that you want, okay? And what I wanna do now is get link URL. And it's gonna say, hey, what, what link URL to, do you want me to get? Well, I wanna get each element that's in the loop. So for each one of these cards, get the profile link. <clears throat> and that's fine, I'm gonna call the, uh, the variable that it pits the link, profile link information into called link URL, that makes sense. So now what we have is we have a loop, and for each of these cards that you loop to, grab the profile link. And then what we wanna do is come here to the list option, in our toolbox and add element. What list do we wanna work with? Well, the only list that we made called usernames. And what information do you wanna to add to that list? I want you to add the variable that we made called link URL. So for each one of these profiles, these cards, grab the, um, the profile link and then add it to our list. And then what we can do just to make sure that the bot works is that we can come to our toolbox and select the item called tools, use the log facility facility option, <laughs> and what data do we want to log out? Well, once again, we want to log out the variable link URL, hit OK, hit OK again, and we're good to go. Now, this should work, should. Okay, so let's start it over. So create a list, then we're gonna load, let's make this bigger so you can hopefully see. So then we're gonna load the trending data section of TikTok, hopefully. Uh, demo fail, we, I can't see much here. Let's rerun that. Is it gonna load? That's better, okay, wow. And then we're gonna start our loop. So for each one of these cards, go to each one get the link URL, and then add the element to our username list, and then log out the URL. Let's see if it's worked. There we go, we have our URLs there, okay? So let's stop this, and then let's run it for real. 
see the browse are first. Yep, okay, so it's going to the trending section. Okay, what did we do wrong? I've done something wrong, oh my God. Okay, let's have a look. What have I done? For each one of these. Okay, TikTok, start loop, each match. Hold the URL to be fine. What have I done? Okay. Get URL as log. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Check the browser. Try again. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. It's working absolutely fine. It wasn't my fault. See, guys, it's, it's Bass, not me. There you go. So it's going to each one of them cards, getting the profile URL, saving it to our list, and also logging it out. Now, when it gets to 30, it's going to stop because there is no more profile URLs to grab. That's because the rest of the profiles are lower down and we need to go to the bottom of the page, more profiles will load and we can grab them. So that's what we're gonna do in the next video, guys. Um, this template is in the description of the video. So grab this template, have a little play around with it, do what you want with it, and then I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.